Do you find it difficult to know exactly how much your content marketing efforts are paying off? Then you will love this new reporting feature we added to Thrive Leads. Hi, my name is Hanna from Thrive Teams and in this video I'm going to show you how you can track your content marketing efforts. You've probably already heard that content marketing can help you grow your business, but how can you track exactly if your content marketing efforts are actually paying off? Maybe you can look to your social media metrics. How many shares does your post have? But social media shares are not really saying anything about the growth of your business and it can be a little bit flaky. A second metric you could look at are the number of comments you are getting per post. But then again, this doesn't really show you how much revenue you are getting or how much your business is actually growing. A better metric to follow are the leads that you are getting from each content piece. But up until now, it was really difficult to find out. You could know the overall conversion rate of your website, but you could not really know which blog post exactly gave you the leads. That's exactly why we added this new reporting feature in Thrive Leads. Let me show you. In the Thrive Leads plugin, you can choose reporting. Here you can choose one of the different reports and the one that I want to show you is the content marketing report. In this report, you can see every page and blog on your website and you can choose if you want to see only posts or only pages. If you select the blog post, then you can see the title of every blog post and you can look which one gave you the most new leads. This allows you to see exactly which content is bringing leads and to do more of what is working and less of what is not working. If you want some more examples about how to use this content marketing report for your business, you can read the blog post. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below the video. <laughs> Random question. Would you rather be one meter tall or three and why? I guess I would rather be three meters tall because if I was only one meter tall, then nobody would notice me and I would be like the height of all the armpits, which would be really uncomfortable.